Okay, it is book review time. Um, you're probably going to hear talking because my son is in the basement playing something talking and my other son has his girlfriend over and they're playing games and like there's a bunch of noise going on around my house and that's just how it is and I like it that way. So you might hear a little something, so that's what you hear. Um, but today's book review is a little different than the ones that I've had. Now, is it different as far as the type of book? Like not really because as you know if you've watched any of my other um book reviews and if you haven't there's a playlist that i will link right here that you can check those out but my favorite types of books are mystery thriller murder suspense those types of books um so when i was on my shopping adventure with my husband for my birthday weekend that he took me on a special surprise weekend um which i will also link right here in case you're interested in seeing that um we, he took me to um, Shipshawana on the road as one of the things that we did and there was someone there that was selling new and used books. And so I ended up picking up five books that were $2 each. Um, and so this was one of the books that I had picked up and it's called Body Parts and I just looked at it and was like, that's the type of book that I like. Like, I'm just going to grab that. I didn't, it was very busy and, you know, a lot of people crowded. So I wasn't going to take like a ton of time looking at things, but I knew it, it looked like something I'd want to read. So when I started reading this book, I got like four or five pages in, I think. And I was like, wait a minute. Because I didn't read the jacket of the book to see like, you know, a refresher of what it was about. Or actually, I don't even know that I ever did to begin with. I'm pretty sure I didn't. So, um... Yeah, I did not know this about this book until I'm partway in and I'm like, the way this is written is really strange. Not strange, like, not good, but, like, it almost seems like it's real or something. So, I'm like, duh, how about you stop and, like, read what it's about? So, I will read to you guys what the book says. It says, on a chilly November afternoon in 1998, a tearful 36-year-old man walked into the Humboldt County Sheriff's Department in Eureka, California, and confessed to something horrible. I hurt some people, he said. Inside his pocket was the ghastly proof of his statement. But there was more to Wayne Adam Ford than the trail of, of mangled victims he left behind. More even than the twisted predator inside, which drove him to increasingly perverse sexual appetites. Pulitzer-nominated author Caitlin Rother draws on previously sealed testimony, interviews with the key players in the case, and the killer's shocking confession to explore the demons that drove a damaged man to his unspeakable crimes. Her book is a haunting, unforgettable, true-life thriller. Okay, so that was why, as I started reading, I was like, this seems like it's real or something. Because it is. So, I have not read a book before. Actually, I lie, because way back when I was young... Um, my best friend and I read a book called Michigan Murders. I live in Michigan. Um, and it, those were true stories. So that is the only other like true crime book I have ever read. So um, it's a little different to read, um, you know, murder, suspense, thriller type book when it's fiction than when you're reading and knowing these things actually happened. So in saying that, while I am someone who um, likes to watch like ID and you know those types of shows and those are real um, I think it's because I they don't I don't know I don't even know how to explain it for some reason when I'm watching those shows it's like I know that's what I'm about to see I they don't typically get too in depth I don't like the ones where like um, there's one it's like the first 48 or something is the name of a show and They'll show like an actual, like the person's body, but just kind of blur out their face or something. I don't like that. Like, I don't actually want to see it. Um, I more so like the aspect of them finding out who did these things and that kind of stuff. That's what I like about those kind of shows. So I don't like to see like the actual, yeah, it's just a little too much. So same in reading a book like this. Um, it's pretty intense. I'm not going to lie. Uh, to really hear the things that he did and in great detail is sickening and I had a little bit of a hard time getting through it in some spots because it's just sickening to think that somebody went through these things that he put them through um so that part of it I did not like um 
But the part of the book that I do appreciate is kind of getting into his psyche a little bit um, as far as finding out like from his past or things that might have caused him to become the person that he became. Um, now, I don't believe that because someone was abused or neglected or something like that, that that means that they're going to become a killer or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't believe those things on their own cause people to be that way because there are plenty of people who have come from bad backgrounds that obviously don't become that way. Um, but I do think that those things coupled with a head trauma that he experiences and obviously just there must be mental illness involved. Um, I mean, obviously we cannot understand how someone could do that. If we do understand it, then that's a little scary because I don't think when you're a sane minded person, you know, with have that moral um, compass or something that you can even possibly imagine how someone could do something like this. So um, it was it was very interesting to read get tough to read and so I guess that it's hard for me to say um like in one aspect I do like the book because I like the way it got in depth into kind of who he was in his background and that kind of thing in his family and things like that um but I don't like it because of just the realness realness and rawness of it was very hard to handle sometimes so, um, as far as recommending it to people, it's not something I necessarily would be like, oh, you should read this book because I think a lot of people wouldn't really want to read something like that. You know, most people read for pleasure. I mean, that's what I do too. And so to have it be something so real makes it kind of lose that because you're just so, ugh, I don't know, like emotionally invested into the book because you can't help but be, you know. And um, so it's not something that I would say, rush out, get this book, read it. However, if you are someone who is very interested in um, true crime or someone who is interested in like kind of the psyche or the background of people who are able to do these types of things, then it might be interesting to you. Um, so the book is called Body Parts and it's by Caitlin Rother. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is what it looks like. And so this is a tricky one for me. This is a tricky book review because it's certainly well written. It's based on fact. It's, you know, transcripts from testimonies and things like that. So there's nothing that can be negatively said about it as far as how it's written or anything. Um, it's just difficult content to read. So that this is a new one for me. And this is a new way of explaining a book review or how to have a book. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, all I can say is if you're interested in true crime, that kind of thing, you will probably be very interested in it. But if you read for pleasure and do not want to read about the things that some people are capable of doing to other people, then you are not going to want to read this book. So, um, it's basically just depends on what is interesting to you or, um, obviously if you're someone who is very interested in psychological type things and stuff like that, then that might be interesting. But otherwise it is very difficult to stomach and, um, it leaves me, I think about it all the time. I, I finished reading it, it's been almost a week ago now, I think, um, and I, constantly things come up in my mind that I read and not good things. So, um, that part I could do without. So yeah, so take from this what you will. Um, let me know if you've read it or if you are someone who enjoys like true crime or, um, you know, whatever, just let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And, um, cause I'm interested to see what people think of it or if it's something that you think you might be interested in reading or that you totally wouldn't. Um, I totally understand why you wouldn't and um, but then again I can understand why someone might so um, yeah I don't have anything negative to say about the book itself it's just the um, what the story is it's a man who murders people and they get pretty graphic as to what he did to them and that kind of thing so um, 
so yeah, not a heavy peppy kind of book review, but it is what it is, right? So, um, you guys, thank you so much for always tuning in and watching these, and um, I thank you for your feedback and would appreciate what, knowing what you think about this. And um, if you are already one of my subscribers, then thank you so much for always being here supporting me. And um, if you are a new subscriber, or no, not if you're a new subscriber, you, but you should be, you should be. If you are not already a subscriber, I hope you'll become a new subscriber of mine and um, check out all of the other content I have on my channel. And um, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye.